Hello students, this is the continuation of the group theory session. This is session number three. I will be continuing with the questions, multiple choice on group theory. Okay, so the first question is in a subgroup of D4 that contains a 270 and a reflection plus a reflection then the subgroup contains R of 180 then the subgroup contains R90 then the subgroup contains R0 or the subgroup contains H so here let's see every subgroup always contain an identity that we know so the subgroup of D4 must contain R0 so R0 is considered as an identity by closure it must contain R270 square that is R180 so R270 Q that is R90 that's it so it must also contain R of 180 F R of 190 F R270 so 180 90 0 these all things are there so if we just go for the diagrammatic pattern over here So H is here, this is D, D dash, V, and this is A, B, C, and D. So these all things are here. So the subgroup will contain all the elements of D4. Hence all the four options are correct over here. Okay, so let's go for something new. Now the next question they have said, that suppose okay my battery is a little bit low I just put it on a charge okay they are saying that the subgroup that A is a group element and A6 equal to this option A is order of A order of A must be 1 order of A may be 2 order of A may be 3 or 6 in that way so A 6 equal to E so the possibilities are A equal to E A square equal to also identity A Q is equal to to e and a6 equal to e. So you remember that here we have taken the possible multiples of 6. So the group order can be 1, 2, 3 and 6. 1, 2, 3 and 6. So all the 4 are the possibilities. Next question. If x belongs to a group, x belongs to a group and if x is square not equal to an identity then and x6 equal to e then which of them is correct x4 is also an identity x5 is not an identity x4 is not an identity and d is x5 is an identity so let's see so x square is not an identity that means x is not an identity x8 equal to remember that x8 equal to x square into x6 equal to x square that is also not an identity so x8 is not an identity that is x4 is not an identity so this is true c is true remember that in order to let's get into 5 so x5 whole square that is x to the power 10 that is x6 into x4 that is x6 is e okay it's been given so this is into x4 that is equal to x4 and that is not an identity we have done already so obviously x to the power 10 is not an identity so x to the power 5 square so x5 is not an identity as well so b and c are true so in this way after doing you see group theory is not about formula or application you have to develop a knack of doing it. there's a pattern okay and even sometimes the feeling of doing it is very important that every second you start a new question whether you are getting into the base of it or not now the next question let's say that x belongs to a group and 
the order of the x is 6 then which of the following is true 4 q is 4 5 is 6 and none of these let's see so this is 6 so x6 is nothing but e x square whole q is also e so x square mod must be e so x6 is x s q square that is also e so order of x cube is also 2 thing goes up and uh, x4 3 that is 12 is x to the power 12 that is x6 square and from 6 this is e so x4 is also 3 whole to the power 6 is x30 sorry is x to the power 30 and here it is x to the power 6 whole to the power 5 that is equal to e so this group is 6 so in that case the only possible answer is option number c let's go for the next one the question says in the set 5 15 25 and 35 the group is under multiplication modulo 40 then the identity element of this group is which one of these so very easy so for the identity element we know e into e this so we need to check that which of the following structure with respect to the modulo of it is square giving us this value so 5 so 5.5 5 is 25 of modulo 40 giving us 25 itself so this is not coming so uh, 15 itself uh, then 15.15 15, that is 225 of modulo 40 is giving us 25 so this is the answer 15 is coming let's take it for 25 so this is 625 with respect to modulo 40 so here also this gives us 25 and the last one that is uh, 35 into 35 1 2 2 5 this is also uh, in the pattern of the modulo so by this we can say that only in case of uh, this is the part so uh, hence the answer to this question is c next next is the number of reflexive relations find the number of reflexive relations in 1 2 2 dot 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 n okay so the reflexive relationship let s equal to this 1 2 dot 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 n now let a equal to 1 1 2 2 so repetitive element n m now this is one such reflexive relation so if we add one more element to a like this for example b 1 1 2 2 dot 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 n n comma 1 2 then b is also reflexive There are 2 to the power n square subsets of A cross A. Okay. So now in this kind of pattern, so the number of such relationship will be equal to n square minus n c n plus n, uh, sorry 0 and then n square minus n c1 dot 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 n square minus n c n square minus n so in this case it is 2 to the power n square minus n so hence the number of reflexive relationship in this set is 2 to the power n square minus n next question let n belongs to natural numbers then the complex number 1 plus i whole divided by root 2 whole to the power n is purely imaginary
if and only if n equal to 0 of modulo 4 n of 1 modulo 4 to of modulo 4. So we need to say which of them we can consider to be correct one. So here we can see that 1 plus i by root 2 this can be reframed as cos of n pi by 4 i sin n pi by 4. This is purely imaginary because of this n pi by 4 is nothing but 2m plus 1 into pi by 4 n equal to 2 into 2m plus 1. So under this case if we can proceed so this, this is the only possible option. So it is purely imagine if and only if that is n gives the modulo value with respect to 4 as 1. Okay. Next one is a matrix based question uh, we have directly so you can see that the order of 2 in the field uh, of z of 29 if they have asked directly actually i have uh, stopped the pause button and uh, I've solved the sum without doing it directly so i'm explaining so 2 to the power 5 is 32 with respect to modulo now we can cube both side here with respect to the same modulo 2 to the power 5 so 3 5 is a 15 and that is 3 to the power 27 and 29 is 2 less so this we have replaced by minus 2 then again i have squared uh, and this is giving me 2 to the power 30 and 4 and we want it for 2 to the power 28 so this value is this so with respect to 28 power we can say that this is giving us the order of 2 Okay, next question is okay. G B N G B a group with identity element E and for some uh, A belongs to G A square not equal to E A6 equal to E then which of the following is true? Either a q equal to e and a4 not equal to e a4 not equal to e but a5 not equal to e as well or a4 not equal to e and a5 equal to e and the last one is a q equal to e and a4 not equal to e so in this case given g is an element in group with identity e such that for some a this is g and a square not equal to e so we can say that a4 also not equal to e and a5 also not equal to e it's a very basic structure we have done a similar structure before so only for square so anything but for a6 it is coming so for 2 and 3 it will be coming okay but uh, for 5 they have not given so this is wrong so this is not possible this is also not possible for 4 it is uh, not coming this is correct but for a cube also it is not coming so this is also wrong so only for this thing a4 and a5 this thing is not coming so hence the answer is as follows <laughs>